Hello, reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Cooking Simulator. Cooking Simulator is brought to you by the same publisher that brought you Thief Simulator. Yes, so I'm very excited about this because I very much enjoyed Thief Simulator. I'm pretty sure it's a different developer, though, but all these simulator games, some of them really appeal to me a huge amount, and this appeals to me even though I am the most professional chef you'll ever see. That is obviously sarcasm. Anyway, as you can quite clearly see as well, we have a cooking school here. I highly recommend checking out the cooking school, or at the very least, checking out the various tutorials that the game offers you. Because, let me tell you, this game is hard. This game is very hard. And maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just because I obviously am unaware of how a professional kitchen actually operates but maybe that's just me. Anyway, sandbox mode, pretty fantastic if you want to learn the ropes and everything, but we are going to be starting a new game and chucking ourselves, yes, as you can see by the loading screen. Most people skip tutorials, most people regret this. Do you want to follow the tutorial during the first day? Yes. Now, the only reason why I'm taking this tutorial is because I want to show you that even if, <laughs> even if you follow the tutorial in some way, you're still going to have some issues. Anyway, let's see if we can do this. All right, so, oh, that's not good. Look, our oven is looking all bad. Okay, well, yeah, as you can see, the tutorial was actually done in a really, really nice, supportive fashion where it will save in between each of the, uh, each of the stages. And you can see here that uh, basically the premise of, the, of this game, of Cooking Simulator, is to rectify a particular restaurant. So bring it back up to scratch. So go all Gordon Ramsay all over the place and uh, try to help out the restaurant as much as possible. And so, get the phone. We need to, we need to call uh, some professionals. So let's pick up the phone. What a mess. We need to get that gas cooker running ASAP. All right, find and repair the gas cooker. Well, the gas cooker is over here. Yes, I, I know that at the very least. It will take ages to repair that thing. We'd better hire someone that's fast. While hovering over the cooker, use that to select a company and then press that to start the repairs. All right, so as you can see, they all come with different costs. So, hmm, we want to choose someone that's really, really fast, but someone that isn't going to be too expensive. I mean, I don't exactly know how much money we have, but... Uh, uh, I guess I will select... Mm, uh, yeah, th these these guys? Yeah. There we go. One down, four to go. We still need to fix ovens and deep fryers. Okay, so let's go for these guys. Okay, I'm actually just going to use them as well. Because they are pretty cheap. And they get the job done reasonably quickly. So I think that's fine. Great job. Put the phone away. We won't be needing it anytime soon, I hope. Ah, uh, she doesn't know. She doesn't know who I am. I'm very, very bad at this. Yes, you will see. No time to take a breather. This place is empty. We're going to do something about it. All right, so we'll need some utensils. So where are the utensils? Find the cardboard boxes, hover over one, and press that to open the shop. Okay, so this is where you're going to get some of your equipment and some of your ingredients as well. So we need to buy one blender so let me see if i can do that there's the blender let's buy it bear in mind that this is the demo for cooking simulator by the way this is not the full version the full version will have 70 percent more content right now this is just 30 percent of what you can expect to see so anyway let's put down do i can i put it down anywhere yeah put it down anywhere just put it over there it'll be faster if we move the box over uh, 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 okay Pick up the cardboard box? Where? Wait. Ah! I can take this. Oh, okay, fantastic. Fantastic. All right, so let's put it down. Put it down there. On the blender, because that's what I do. Yes. Use the shop to buy equipment from the list. Okay, so we need a baking tray. Obviously, can I can I double click on this? N no, I don't think so. I, I think I have to click on it. Okay. So baking tray, I can put that uh, here, I guess. Yeah, that's where the baking tray goes. And uh, yes. Ah. Oh dear. Okay, a big pot. I guess I could put a big pot on the stove, I suppose. And we need to buy two of those. Right, so we can put another one here. There we go. 
And what else do we need? Cutting board. Well, we can put a cutting board pretty simply over here. Knives are very expensive. The good knives, mm, yes, good knives are very expensive indeed. As you can see, 300 credits. Are we going to... Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to cut anything just yet. Thanks very much. But I will be needing to soon. Oh, yes. And there's a pan. Guess I'll put a pan in the middle there. And a spatula. That's the last thing we need. So I'm actually going to put the spatula on the uh, on the little thing here. Can I? Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay. I should probably have put it here, shouldn't I? On one of these hooks. Oh, well, never mind. That's very hygienic. Yes, very good. Okay, so let's use the laptop. We're going to be unlocking all the basic recipes here. Click on the highlighted tile. Yeah, the highlighted tile is this, I believe. And we will open up... Uh, there's going to be all kinds of stats, yeah. And you can also get fame as well and you can remodel your kitchen however you wish as well so there's also that pretty amazing customization and obviously you're going to be making bank too or at least you're going to try to make bank as much as you can okay so not owned recipes tab not owned recipes where's that there there we go buy a recipe for baked trout by clicking the highlighted button so there's the baked trout right there so we are going to be making that we also need to unlock salmon steak and boiled Potatoes. Sounds nice. Sounds nice indeed. Let's get that. Uh, whoa. Oh, nice. We're also getting tomato soup. Oh, yes. It's been a while since I've had some tomato soup. Would be quite nice right now. Oh, well. It's making me hungry. Yeah, it's not a good idea to play this game if you're hungry, by the way. Which I am. I'm hungry right now, so this is bad. Oh, well. Never mind. We'll need spices. Let's visit the shop. All right. We got some salt. Oh, that's very cheap. I like it. Very good. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna put that away. Okay, so we can also buy some black pepper and everything as well. So we're gonna just put all of this right here. Cayenne pepper. This is gonna be very easy for me because I'm putting it very close by to what what I need to, what I need to you know get when I eventually make something. Uh, actually, you know what? I should probably pick up this. Uh, no, uh, pick it up. There we go. And we should probably put it in here, shouldn't we? There we go. That's much safer. No one's going to get their finger cut off or anything like that now, so that's good. Anyway. Okay, so we still need some liquids. Go to a box and open the shop. Okay, so liquids, we need chicken broth, and we need sour cream, and we need all these wonderful things. But you can see exactly what's going on here with the simulation style of the game, and I'm absolutely loving it so far. And... You would think that I wouldn't really be into this kind of game, but I love simulators. I'm just really bad at them. So, yeah, you've been warned. You've been warned. Anyway, if you'd, if you'd also like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Yeah, so uh, might be nice to take a look at that. Okay, Perk Manager. Where is the Perk Manager? There. There we go. Each perk provides you with a small gameplay bonus. Gaining fame levels will grant you additional perk points. Right, so we can also allow... Ah, look at that. We can buy a second hand, and it, it allows us to hold products while we are cutting. So it allows you to freeze products. Okay, pretty fantastic. Okay, so exit the laptop, click on the close icon. We know how to use a laptop, don't we? There we go. Let's see how we do yours. I want you to serve me a baked trout. Okay, so now you see all these monitors all around the place? They actually will provide you with the recipe. So if you need some additional assistance, then uh, you can actually do that. Oh, hello, Gordon. I mean, likeness of Gordon. Yes, yes, very much. If you know Gordon Ramsay, then you can. You, he's kind of similar. It's kind of similar to how he looks. Okay. So this is this has to be done in five minutes thirty, by the looks of things. Okay. So we need a trout. The fish should be inside. Let's go and get one. Each product costs money, by the way, as well. So let's place this down on the cutting board. The recipe calls for black pepper, dill, and thyme. Five grams each. Pick up a spice container. Okay, so we need black pepper, which we have here. Okay, so we're going to take that over. And we need five grams, right? Five grams. This is not going to go well. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm being super careful here, but I'm not fast. That's the problem. I'm not fast whatsoever. Okay, so we need some thyme. There we go. Is this thyme? I think it is. Oh, no, it's dill, actually. Ugh. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, yes, there we go. Phew. All right, and is this time? Yeah, there we go. Dry time, fantastic. 
And let's place it there. Alright, now take the trout and place it on a baking tray. Fine, I'm sure real Gordon would not be as patient with me. So take the trout with my hands and put it on the put it on the baking tray. Okay, this is uh, this is not gonna go well. Okay, ah uh, Oh yeah. Uh, yes. I need to get the baking tray out first. Give me this. Put it there. There we go. No, don't take the whole cutting board. No. That is not something we want. Thank you. Okay. So let's put that into the oven. Let us open it up. Alright, place it in there, there we go. Use the top dial to turn the oven on. The bottom dial regulates the power. Best leave that alone for now. Yes. Let's do that. Okay, so the top one. Right. How long is it going to take? Oh, wait. Have I... Oh. Whoops. I put it in the wrong one. I put it in the wrong one, everyone. Okay, so let's not do that. Let's put it in the right one then, shall we? Okay, my bad, Gordon. Don't yell at me, please. <laughs> no, he's he's not going to. 90 seconds. We should probably set this up. Ah. Uh, oh, whoops. Set timer. Okay, so 90. What's 90 seconds here? Ah. Uh, that's nine minutes. <laughs> no. No, that's that's not that's not right. But you can see that there is actually a timer system, and this will go off when uh, when you need it to. But uh, oh well, I don't need that anymore. Throw it, throw it away. Thank you very much. What's this? Ooh, look at this. Yes, I'm mopping all over the place. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on now. Timer, get out of here. You are not needed anymore. There we are. Just sweep it under the rug. There's no rug. Oh, I closed the door. Ah, well, whatever the case, let's hope no one trips over that. It's a it's a hazard, isn't it? It's an absolute hazard. Okay, so I have no idea whether this is done. I'm hopeful that they will tell me when it's actually done. But yes, this is exactly my point. The tutorial is, in my opinion, very much required, because otherwise you're not going to know anything. You're not going to know what's going on. It's, you know, it's a very, very nice learning experience. And, uh, yeah, I think it would be very cool if Gordon himself would actually play this game and see uh, see how it goes <laughs> buy a plate you can quickly transfer products into a hell container even when they're hot by pressing this use that knowledge to transfer trout onto the plate there's a plate uh, deep plate small plate gonna take a small plate and we'll open this up there we go okay so we finish off the trout by seasoning it with some horseradish Radish is highlighted. Thank you very much for highlighting it, game. I appreciate it. Okay, five grams, right? Yeah. We need a lemon. Buy one. Okay, lemon. There we go. Okay, so we need uh, products. Yes, lemon. There we go. Place it on the cutting board. Ooh, okay. We're getting, we're getting fancy right now. Use that knife to cut the lemon into four pieces. Try to make them even. Remember to hold down shift to keep the product in place. Okay, so I'm holding down shift. So four even... Oh, no. They should not trust me with a knife. Did, did I cut it? Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, someone's going to have that for their drink, I suppose. Okay, so let's keep the lemon in like this. And... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's rotate it. Okay, let's cut... Uh, like so. Here we go. All right, we did it. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to put the knife back in, back in here, and we're going to take a lemon, and we are now going to. Do I do I just do I just place it on there? Pick up the plate. Oh no, I have to pick up the plate. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. Pick up the plate. Now pick up the lemon quarters. Target them with dust to expand. It. Okay, so expand your pickup range. Oh. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, oh, have fun with the, all the lemon in there. Okay, finally pick some fresh fresh parsley. Fresh parsley, okay, so fresh parsley, where's that? Ah, it's over here, I see. Okay, so I will take some of this. Okay, and we will place that six grams. Ah, uh, that's two grams. I need to pick up more, of course. 
Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I have to... Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have pick up, picked up the plate and actually taken it over there, but I'm worried that I'm going to drop the fish. You can do that. There we go. That's better. Good, the dish is done. Now you need to serve it. Put it on the checkout shelf. Yes. Let me do it. Okay, click on the checkout app. Okay, so I can actually take a photo. Yes, I love this. Very good. Let me take a photo. How do I... Oh, yeah. This is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. Okay, there we go. Can I change my filter? Can I change the filter? Depth of field. St oh, no. Depth of field's not good. Okay, let's not do that. What about filter? Yes. Ooh, black and white. Black and white comic book. Dawn. Ooh, it looks good with that. I like it. Okay, and let's put a frame around it. Valentine's Day. Yes. It was just Valentine's Day. Cooking simulator. Can I move this around? I can't move it around. Maybe I will be able to soon. Okay, cooking simulator. Boom. Take screenshot. Save. I wonder whether I can actually see that in my in my Steam screenshots. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so, yeah, absolute masterpiece. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Yes, I think you should. Anyway, serve the dish. There we go. We got... Look at that! We got a four and a half stars! Fantastic. Now, here's the problem. There's no problem with the game. There's a problem with me. I'm very slow. I am extremely slow. It's going to take me a long time to make this dish. And when you are playing the game, there is a time limit. Oh yes, there is a time limit. Okay, so the guest complaint. Perfect. Perfect. Obviously it gave me four and a half stars because it's Gordon. But there you go. That's fine. That's it for today. Tomorrow will be open for business. So do your best. Oh my, I'm going to be a bit worried. The timer is still going on, and as you can see, we just lost a whole bunch of money because obviously we were buying all of that stuff and repairing all the equipment and everything, and, well, that's it. And now we are on to day two. If you would like to see more of this game, if you'd like to see me playing more of this, then let me know. But I've warned you, it's not going to be a pretty sight. Anyway, if you'd like to check out the game... There is a link in the description, and otherwise, I thank you very much for joining me, and for watching, and I will see you next time.